Okay, I think that's everything. I think that we're ready to... to hey! Oh dear. Hey, what is up guys? How are we doing? And welcome back to a Q&A. It's been a while since I've done one of these, mainly because I'm probably not really that interesting. But if you are interested in me not being interested, don't worry, you're in the right place. What do you do for a living? Slash what is your profession? And a lot of you will know this, and I guess some of you won't if you're new to the channel. It's this. I am full-time YouTube. I know it doesn't always seem like it at the moment with the amount of content, but it takes so long to put these videos together. Um, maybe, to be fair, not this one, uh, but most of them take a very long time, and it's about careful planning, careful filming, production, editing, all of this stuff, and that's how it comes together. A question quite a lot of people are asking me goes along the lines of, do you think graphics cards are going to drop in price soon? And I don't have really any inside information, but I have sat down with AMD and I think I briefly, uh, briefly had a chat with Nvidia about it before. And they both say pretty much exactly the same thing, is that from their side, there's not really that much they can do about it. And when I say it, I mean the fact that all the graphics cards get bought up by the cryptocurrency miners and then the prices of the remaining ones then get inflated. And it's pretty much the reason for this is just because it's supply and demand. There's not enough supply for the demand. So I think they're trying to ramp up production as much as much as they can. But the actual chips, the GPUs themselves, they're sort of making as many as they can. And I was quite happy to see that Nvidia put on their website the Founders Edition cards um, at the normal price, but then they sold out in like a day. So it really does go and show that it's not Nvidia and AMD's fault. And I think they're going to do everything they can because they're missing out on money. If they could produce more cards, they would. It's um, the retailers, I guess, that are making a little bit extra profit from all of this, but um, it's just a difficult one. But are graphics cards going to drop in price soon? Hopefully, yes, because the price of crypto seems to be coming down. And um, if there is some new launches in the future, hopefully there'll be more of them to go around. Moving over to Twitter, quite a cool question is what or who is your inspiration to get into the YouTube space? And I think I've got quite a clever answer here because I never really looked at someone's YouTube channel and went, I can do that, I want to do that, I must go and do that. It was sort of a factor of things, mainly the fact that I've just picked up a new camera, I wanted something to do with it, I'd always been interested in tech and I basically saw that you can do this. I just started it all as a hobby, but I think if you actually break it down and look at the core root of it, the thing that inspires me is other people that inspire you to think. At the moment, believe it or not, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks, um, things like uh, Professor Brian Cox, Ricky Gervais, all sort of talking about the big picture, um, if you like, and the same with people like Elon Musk. This is what we're doing now, well, what, what can we do? Um, it's as you can see, it's a very, very confusing and infinitely big topic. I'm really interested in just the universe, um, but also what we can do that other people haven't done before us, I guess. And it's something that, at the moment, it's, I don't know, it's almost really helping me just to try and think. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Come on, you know the answer to that. You don't need to ask that. Come on, seriously. What is the best budget case you've ever owned? By the way, keep up the good work. Love your vids. Well, thank you so much. I love my vids as well. I love myself. <laughs> Don't put that in there. Actually, at the moment, it's a really good time to buy a case because there are so many good ones for less and less. But my favorite one at the moment is the Fantex P300. I'm actually planning to sort of migrate and one of my more powerful systems into there because it's got such a small footprint, but it looks so good. It's got tempered glass, and although it only comes with one fan, obviously you can upgrade these later. And if you are looking at getting a new PC and you want to maybe save a little bit of money, then it's almost like a non-compromise, that doesn't make sense, it's a no-compromise uh, free option, it's great. Why do you look the same as you did four years ago? It's because I filmed all of these in advance. What microphone do you use in your videos? Well, it's a Rode NTG4 Plus. It is a good boom microphone that you need to have positioned right, otherwise it sounds a little bit weird. But if you're actually interested in any of the gear that I use to shoot all of this, then you can always find it in the uh, description down below. What are your favorite five games of all time? And I know for a fact that I'm gonna 
really be annoyed when I'm editing this because I'll probably think of something else. But the things that come to mind initially were Crash Bash, what a game that was, PS1 era, Hogs of War, also PS1 era, uh, Age of Empires on the PC, Populous the beginning, what a game that was. Um, but actually I have to say, and <laughs> please don't hate me for saying this, I have to put PUBG in there because I've played 200 or so hours of that game so far. And the thing that's so good about that is it's just great for the community. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description below um, to Silence Ooh. Tech Server, which is uh, where I normally play talking Discord here. Um, so yeah, if you want to actually have a game of PUBG with me, then that's going to be the great place to, um, to get started. But I've also got to give a massive plug to the fact that Activision have just announced that there is a remaster of uh, the Spyro games coming. I don't think it's coming to PC, unfortunately, but it might do a little bit later. Um, but Xbox and um, PS4 fans, you're getting a full remaster of Spyro. What a, what a time to be alive. So I think that will do it for all of the questions this time. If you do want to ask me anything else, then as I say, it's Twitter, um, at PCCentric, or if you want to see what I'm up to, then Instagram's normally your best bet. Go and follow me, I need followers. Well, I don't, let's be honest, I don't need followers. Um, big enough ego as it is, really. Um, but if you do want to boost it further, you know where to go. A massive thank you for you guys for checking out this video, though. Um, let me know down in the comments section below uh, what videos you want me to do in the future and like this video because let's be honest you probably won't like it unless I tell you to like it because it's a, a Q&A video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, see you next time.